Praise the Lord. Welcome to day two of 40 Days of Glory. Our theme for today is Behold the Glory of God. Behold the Glory of God. I read from the book of John, chapter 11, verse 40. The Bible says, Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Here, Jesus was talking to Mary and Martha at the dead of Lazarus. At that point, Lazarus was dead. And Mary and Martha looked at Jesus Christ when he came back and believed that Jesus had come a little bit late. That had Jesus come uh, earlier, when Lazarus was about to die, Jesus would have been able to pray for him and he would be healed. And Jesus told them, see, I'm the resurrection and the life. And they said to Jesus, well, we know you are the resurrection and, and the life, that on the last day, Lazarus will resurrect. But Jesus made them understand that even now, he is the resurrection and the life. And then he told them, he reminded them that I've told you before, that if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Today, I've also come to tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God. A few things are very important in this short Bible passage. Number one is the idea of belief. It's the gateway to enter into God's provision, into God's power, into God's rescue for our life is if we believe. And believing simply means that we have a firm conviction within us that God will do, that God can, and he will do what he says he will do. So today, I invite you to have a conviction within your heart that God will do what he says he will do. He has the power to do it. That's the first thing that Jesus made clear, made clear here to Mary and Martha, that if they believe, if they have the conviction in their heart that God is powerful and he will do what he says he will do, then they will see the glory of God. Second thing I want us to notice here is the glory of God. The glory of God is what God is, is the full extent of his power, is the full extent of his authority, what he can do, what he's capable of doing. When Jesus Christ turned water to wine, that was the glory of God. When he walked upon water, that was the glory of God. When he healed the centurion, that was the glory of God. When he healed the woman with the issue of blood, that was the glory of God. When he resurrected Lazarus from death, that was the glory of God. And so his glory encompasses all that he can do and all that he will do. And so for Mary and Martha, the glory of God they seek is the resurrection of Lazarus. Their brother Lazarus has just died and they seek the glory of God to manifest by way of resurrecting Lazarus. For you, you may have come to this for the days of glory and seeking the glory of God in various other ways. For some people, the glory of God you see is that you can find a good job. For others, the glory of God they seek is that they can find a life partner. For another, the glory of God they seek is so that their business can be productive. For some, the glory of God you see is healing. For some people, the glory of God they seek is God's intervention in their finances. And whatever that may be, in whatever area you may seek for God's glory to manifest in your life, it is important, as Jesus has said here, that if you believe, you will see the glory of God. So today, I invite you to believe so that you can see the glory of God through these 40 days of glory. Believe without doubt in your mind that God can do the things you ask him to do for you. That when you ask according to his will, he will grant your request. There's another place in the Bible where Jesus Christ referred to this idea of believing and seeing the glory of God. In the book of Mark chapter 9, verse 23, Jesus said, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Jesus Christ was addressing the father of the child who had convulsion here. The disciples of Jesus had prayed for this child, but it, they couldn't heal him. So the father beckoned on Jesus and asked Jesus Christ 
to help pray for this child. And Jesus Christ looked at the man and Jesus told him that if you believe, all things are possible. The man came to Jesus and he asked Jesus, Lord, I believe, help my own belief. This morning, I want you to look unto Jesus too and say, Lord, I believe, help my own belief. Have a strong faith, have strong belief that God will do what he says he will do in your life. And here is it. Let's face it really. Jesus was the one speaking here. He was talking and he said it twice. At least example, we said it twice. That if we believe, we will see his glory. And if we believe, everything is possible. In this 40 days of glory, everything is possible for you. As a man thinketh, so he is. So whatever you can pray about these 40 days of glory, God can do them for you if you believe him. Uh, join me as we pray and make this declaration after me. Father, Lord, I come to you today. I believe that you are God and I believe that you rule in the affairs of man. I believe that with you all things are possible. I believe that with you the irreversible can be reversed. I believe that impossibilities can become possible. I believe that dry bones can live again with you. I believe that my sicknesses can be healed. I believe that my finances can be transformed. I believe that I can find a new life partner. I believe that if I believe in you, you can do wonders in my life. Today, Lord, I ask that I see your glory. Let me see your glory in these 40 days of glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Again, I ask that you join us this evening at 7 p.m. at Freedom House. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name.